Hey everybody, hope you all have a good Friday. It's almost Mother's Day weekend. So I have a piece of walnut here that has a pretty good size, probably about a quarter knot hole. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I wanna fill it with epoxy, but I don't wanna use a color on it. I don't really know what to use, but I just got done planing some cherry and maple. So I have some very nice shavings from it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my resin, my two part epoxy, and once I mix it in the final cup, I'm gonna put some of this in there and then I'm gonna fill it in the hole and see how it turns out. Something new, stay tuned. All right, so I got the epoxy resin all mixed up. Um, I mixed it and let it sit for about five minutes, let all the bubbles kind of get up to the top. And I use these guys, these little syringes. You can get them from uh, pretty much any pharmacy. It's just an oral syringe. And that's what I use to measure out. Once I pour my stuff in a cup, then I suck out the amount that I need. And um, depending on what brand you get, you have to read it as far as um, what level and what ratio you need to do it on. This one is a five to one, so five parts to one part. Pretty easy math. Um, but so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up and pour it inside and see what happens. So it's all mixed up. I went ahead and took a couple pinches of this and put it right inside. See if I can get you guys to see what's in there. There we go. So it's right inside there. Mix it around just kind of like you would salt if you're cooking, just a little bit at a time. Um, you don't want to go too heavy on it. You just put just a little bit. Um, all in all, I probably put maybe about a teaspoon in there. So give you a little bit of an idea. But let's go ahead and pour it and see how well it comes. All right, so let's see if I can get a light over here. You guys can take a look. It actually looks pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and let that set up a um, couple of minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the top, and all the bubbles will rise to the top. You heat it, you can use a torch, you can use a blow gun, um, a hair dryer, um, a little, uh, oxycetylene torch. It's a little drastic, but if you like pyro, that's fine. You can use a lighter, um, pretty much anything that it has heat to it, and it'll draw the bubbles up and pop them all on top. Comes out pretty cool. So once this dries, I will go ahead and come back to it tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like. Fingers crossed. All right, so I'm out here the next day, and I went ahead and peeled the tape off the back. Let me show you what we got going. So back here, I had some tape on here, just some Tyvek tape. You can pick up um, house wrap tape. Um, it's called a, little, a lot of different things, depending on where you're at, what country you're in. Um, but here in the States, we, you can go to Lowe's, get Tyvek tape, you can get Home Depot tape, house wrap tape, um, Canada. They call it something else, I forget what they call it. Um, but essentially, it's, it's just a decent, it's, it's for um, windproofing, for keeping outside elements outside of your house when you're building and putting around windows. Um, but I put it on here and put sticky side down. And as you can see, it holds the epoxy back and holds it really good. Um, it does leave a sticky residue, but once you run it through the planer or sander, um, or you can smack it with some goo gone and you should be good. But that's what we're looking like. Um, it actually looks really cool. I'll hold it up so you can see. Let's get your time around here. Uh, see what it looks like going right through there. So as you can see, you can see right through it. Um, let's see if I hold it up. Get that angle right. It's not going to let me. But you can see straight through it. And all the sawdust pigments that are in there are actually in, in a lot of different layers. Um, so it looks like it's actually little molecules standing still. 
Uh, it came out pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. I'm going to plant it, sand it, and um, show you what the final product looks like without this light because it's pretty boring and annoying. All right, so I cured up overnight and show you guys what it looks like. I went ahead and sanded it and cut it out because it's going to be the handle of a little serving tray that I made. Um, <clears throat> I'll let you guys see. That damn light. Let's see. Where can we go? Where can we go? I guess we can hold it up on this side. See if you can see through it. But once I go ahead and put some oil on it, you'll be able to pretty much see it. It did turn the epoxy resin, um, the color of the sawdust that I put in there. So I didn't think it was going to that much because it was big chunk sawdust, but it did. That's alright though. Um, but I sanded it. Let me show you guys what I used. So I started off with 120. Then we went to two forty, three twenty, six hundred, and the final thousand. Um you can't find those in local hardware stores. They don't go that high for circle discs. But I got a whole pack of them. There's roughly, I think, 80. I came in the pack, and they're on Amazon. They're like 6 bucks, And free shipping the next day. Can't beat it. So, sent it down. Cut it out. And now, put some oil on it. Watch the magic. So you can start to see through it a little bit better. Oil up the other side. See through it actually pretty good. But came out pretty good. It's a good Mother's Day gift. But if you guys have any questions, um, if you like the video, hit like. Leave a comment, subscribe, follow. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you can follow along on Instagram, Northern Custom Woodworking CO. Um, that's me. I'm Derek. If you have any questions, comments, feel free. Drop me a line. Um, follow along on Instagram. And uh, if you guys want to see a video on something else, how to, let me know. Always building, always making. You guys have a great day.